Today we are taking a look at the new Smart Vision 3. This is a very interesting accessible Android smartphone that utilizes both a touchscreen and a full physical keypad. So we'll be right back. We'll take a closer look at the Smart Vision 3. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Before we get into today's video, a huge thank you to Raz Mobility for sending out this phone so that I could make this video for you guys. As always, if you'd like to learn more about this product, I'll have all the important links in the video description down below. A few years ago, I did a review of the Smart Vision 2, and although you can't get that phone anymore, I still get questions all the time, people asking how to get their hands on it. Well, the Smart Vision line of phones is back with a new and improved version. This is the Smart Vision 3, and it is definitely an improvement over the previous model. First, let's take a look at hardware and then we'll focus on software. I gotta say, the Smart Vision 3 is a good looking phone, but I might just be saying that because white is my favorite color. Of course, the white and the black is a very smart design choice for an accessible phone for the blind and visually impaired because it really doesn't get much more high contrast than that especially when it comes to the buttons. The black buttons against the white background makes it so that these are gonna be much easier to see with low vision. But they've also added in a lot of tactile elements with these buttons. So even if the user has more profound vision loss, they're still gonna be able to use this phone. The front side of the phone here is split into two main sections, the upper half being the touch screen and the lower half being the full physical keypad. On the right side of the phone, we have three buttons. You have your volume up and volume down, and then the upper button is used to trigger the Google Assistant. Across the top, we have the power button and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. This is great. Obviously, the phone does have Bluetooth, so you can use that to connect to Bluetooth audio devices, but it's always great to still have a headphone jack as well. Along the left side, you have the dual SIM card slot. So this is a dual SIM card enabled phone. So that means you could have two different phone numbers associated with this one phone. And then down along the bottom, you have the USB type C charging port and a speaker grill. There's also a speaker grill above the touch screen. So you should be able to get stereo audio when you're listening to things like audio books or music. And then on the back, we have our cameras. Although the Smart Vision 3 is running Android under the hood, you don't see it right away. When you first turn on the phone, you're presented with this unique accessible user interface. You'll also notice that the TalkBack screen reader is automatically turned on. On the home screen here, we have a couple of elements. At the top, you have a very large digital clock and date. And below that, we have a few of our most used applications. Applications. Applications list. Contacts. Contacts. Phone. Phone. Messages. And messages. There are two ways to interact with the phone. You can do that through the physical keypad here, using your up and down navigation buttons, your OK button, menu, back, all of those physical buttons. But you can also use gestures on the touch screen. And because this is talkback, it's all the normal talkback gestures. Clicking into the applications, we have a vertical scrolling applications list. There's a ton of really useful applications in here, a lot that we're familiar with. Camera, photos, the Play Store is in here, Google Chrome. Then we have some vision specific applications like Google Lookout, color identifier, a magnifier. So it's great to already have those pre-installed on the phone. For entertainment, we have a couple options. There's an FM radio on here. There's an internet radio, YouTube, YouTube music, a book player. So like I said, a lot of options already pre-installed. But as I mentioned, we also have the Google Play store. And that's what separates the Smart Vision from some other accessible phones currently on the market is it is a fully working Android phone and you pretty much get all the benefits of that, including the ability to download and install whatever apps you want to from the Google Play Store. Now, that's something that makes this device really cool, but that also might be a little bit of a problem for some users. Remember that the whole goal of this phone is to be accessible for the blind and visually impaired, but there's no guarantee that some of those apps you install from the Play Store are gonna be accessible. 
So that's definitely something to keep in mind. I know that was a big problem with the previous version of the Smart Vision phone. A lot of people I spoke with, they were getting into trouble because they would install an app that wasn't accessible and then all of a sudden they couldn't use the phone. So once again, great that you have that flexibility, but just something to keep in mind. You can actually use buttons, the physical keypad, to do just about everything with this phone, including getting into your notification drawer or your recent apps. When talking about the hardware, I mentioned the dedicated button on the right side to trigger the Google Assistant. So this is super helpful having an actual physical button for this, makes it so much easier. I can just tap that button. I'll hear an audible prompt letting me know that the Google Assistant is listening for my commands, and then I can just tell it what to do. So I've been testing the Smart Vision 3 out for about a week or so now, and as a phone, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it makes and receives calls very well. Call quality is really good. It didn't have any issues with that. I love the ability to potentially put in two SIM cards into here. If you had a work number and a personal number, it would be really awesome to just have both of those going into one phone and not need to carry around two devices. The user interface is great. I love the simplicity of it. The only issues I've had here and there don't really have anything to do with the phone. It's more normal talkback issues. 1.39 p.m. Also, if you have the focus box on the clock, it will announce every single minute, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, normal frustrations that I run into with TalkBack on any device. Those are really the only issues I've had with this phone. Battery life has been pretty good as well. It does have a touch screen, but it is a smaller touch screen, so it's not pulling as much battery as your traditional smartphone will. That being said, it is a smartphone, so it's constantly getting updates from the cloud and updating apps and all of that in, in the background, so that does drain some battery. Speaking of battery life, I'll throw some specifications up on the screen here. Some of those include the dimensions. The dimensions are 159 millimeters by 68 millimeters by 10 millimeters, or 6.26 inches by 2.68 inches by 0.4 inches. The display is 3.5 inches, and it's a 640 by 960 pixels. The weight is 160 grams, or 0.35 pounds. Internal memory, you've got four gigabytes of RAM. External memory, you have an SD card slot up to 128 gigabytes. Wireless connectivity, you've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. The charging is USB type C and it does support wireless charging. We'll talk more about that here in a second. Rear camera, you've got a 16 megapixel and a two megapixel. Then the front camera is a five megapixel. The Smart Vision 3 is 4G VOLTE compatible and here in the US running on T-Mobile and the smaller networks that use T-Mobile towers. That would be networks like Simple Mobile, Mint Mobile. In fact, if you purchase the Smart Vision 3, you automatically get three months free Mint Mobile service. Now regarding price, there are two different packages you can get. You can get the Smart Vision 3 Basic or premium package. The basic package is just the phone by itself, nothing fancy. Actually, I take that back. You do get some cool stuff with the basic plan. You get the smartphone, USB type C charging cable and a wall plug, a set of earbuds and five NFC tags. And cost $539. Now, remember how I said it supports wireless charging? Well, in the premium package, you get a wireless charger included. This makes it super easy to charge the phone. You just place it down on the pad and it automatically starts to charge. You also get included a flexible soft TPU style case. It is a frosted color, so semi-transparent. And you also get a lanyard and a cleaning cloth. All of that is included in the premium package and that is $599. Okay guys, so that was a quick look at the Smart Vision 3. If you'd like to learn more, once again, check out the links I will provide in the video description down below. You can also leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to help out, but please <laughs> check out the actual link for the phone before, because chances are you're gonna find your answers there. All right, a huge thank you to Raz Mobility once again for sending out this product so I could make this video for you guys. If you enjoyed this information, please consider subscribing to the channel. I put out a new video like this every single Saturday. And once again, 
Don't forget to check out the podcast, The Blind Life Podcast, available on all your major podcast platforms. If you need more Blind Life after that, check out the website, theblindlife.net. That's it, guys. Thank you again. Same with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.